time laying their jabs, but of course, you can see that uh, Jermont and Nick oh, Charles no. he was caught with the jab in there and win. Oh, straight. A good cross. Charles was saying, and he got that little yeah. clinch, a little exchange. Oh, good. Actually, has shown that recently against lower level competition as a ref. This championship affair in Los is going to be a good matchup because both of them. Uh, and oh, good he said, by as Charlo. you pointed out, not good. Nice, nice coverage. He's 59 punches per round, which is three more than the junior middleweight oh. average. Oh, there's that Skip big jab by champion. And hands free, hands free. Left in the second. And Charlo walking forward. But you know, good body uh, work by that he lost was against Arislandi Lara. He he's good at jab. Oh, oh my! Trout is trying to box on the back foot. Yeah. And yep. That's keeping his hands very low. And and against Arislandi Lara, and the the two times you mentioned, he tried a double right hand there. Oh, and another right hand. So well uh, shot. There's a good. And, uh, and Charlo's really starting to impose his. And Charlo looking to establish that jab of the fight. Reset. And then go. Yeah. Oh. Trout. Charlo. It was a little too nice because at the end. <laughs> Waller, when, when he <laughs> no, just said that. 30 <laughs> seconds gone in the fifth round. Trout more. Charlo has Trout in the corner, but. Trout always winds up with a better position. Oh. And Charlo has Trout. Fights out and turns the tables on Charlo as they exchange shots. Of, of trap. Yeah, that's true. Oh, nice, nice. nice shot hook by Trout. Yeah, right. A minute left in the fifth round. The action. Vegas, more Ranello along with Al Bernstein. Yet yeah, done any serious damage. And I can punch his, you know, this highly skilled dream. The difference is the power of Charlo. That's yeah. the difference. Again, 18 of his 23 wins have come via so far in this fight. Yeah, if Charlo continues this out, but a competitive fight. Yeah, and Trout is where it was more. And we just saw evidence of it. Said himself, I'm not flashy, but to the second half of the fight, what adjustments do you want to see? I said earlier, I think he's got to try to be first a little bit more consistently. Is there a good combination by Jamal? You see, when Jamal is, unleashes the offense and it unleashes the assault, you know, when he, he also countered from where he's at, nice. really good, nice hook of it. She was having one big girl. Yeah, That's what I guess they weren't born in 1800. <laughs> no, leeches when they were born. No. 1990. Oh, good exchange here. Round seven with Charlo. Good combination to the head by Charlo's. We bring in our unofficial score, Steve Farr. And how do you have it after the rounds are pretty close? But every time I'm deciding who won landing the bigger shots, and I don't think there's any doubt about that. That I mean, right before we went to Steve, he threw a nice comment for the sport because he's in a good place mentally, physically. Um, yeah. He took blame for what oh, happened against Lara. Knocked out. Yeah. But he's going to have to take more chances as the fight goes on. Jab by Charlo acknowledged it. Oh, clash has a heads yeah, inside. Yeah. A couple of clashes. They got to watch their heads. Another beautiful straight oh. left down the middle by Trout. But Charlo now on the attack, smothering Trout. Now, two losses coming to Canelo and Lara. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Again, it's Jamal, who's is very, very solid. Right hand. Good Double scene, jab and right nice. hand by Charlo, swarming in this fight. Good combination. Right. So, and a straight left and left. Died. And in the last minute of this round, or last 45 seconds, Trout's been getting off. Very close oh, round. Skip. Charlo finished. thought it was excellent at, oh my, that right Putting, He takes it, not real flashy, definitely not a brawler, he says. And he, he, he didn't land everything, he set, got back to reason. I'm going to land some power he is, he, he is a terrific fundamental boxer, yeah, very much so. Oh, walked into a counter there, though. Yeah. Fights on our own, the ESPN series. And it used to watch Al Bernstein's work oh. on VHS tape. In this weight class, you know, you've got a, a solid top eight or ten fighters in this weight class. And Trout, it's a little bigger with more power. Oh, but oh Trout God. has been here before. Oh, here in Las Vegas. Oh, and a good final round. And you get the feeling. Got it close because Jamal's won the rounds big, but some of this. Ten. Nice check hook by Trout. Throughout this fight. And now Charlo finally attacking Alvarez and Erez Landy Lara. And yeah, it's a good, it's done a good job. Oh, good right. count up to the power of Charlo. He has so far. Good. Sense of urgency mm -hmm. on the part of Austin Trout. 
The thoroughbreds about to go the distance in Las Vegas with the 154 pound championship on the line. And still champion, Jamal Charlo. So Jamal Charlo remains undefeated.